Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And this time I'm going to show you how to solve the North Lome Labyrinth. This is in the same exact location as it was in Breath of the Wild, although it is covered in gloom and it is also kind of solved for you. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. So the only thing you need going into this is a way to melt ice. You're gonna have to melt a decent amount of it, especially to gain access to the shrine in the center. You gotta melt a bunch of ice. So bring something that either is you know, on fire already, like a fire rod or something, um, or just bring a bunch of arrows with you know something to light them on fire. Okay, so we can enter the labyrinth here. And then you will notice that there are a lot of Hylian pine cones around. And that is because you are going to use those in order to uh, traverse the gloom. So let's go ahead and, oh, actually we can just do it this way. Take out a Hylian pine cone, and then you wanna chuck it into the fire. I recommend not picking them up as you go, um, just so you don't get lost. Maybe pick up every other one it's really up to you, but I kind of recommend leaving them, especially if you have a bunch already. So you see that I already have this solved, so just ignore that. Um, we're going to follow the pine cones now. So you can see that they're just on this trail. I'll pick up every other one. This will be locked. Ignore that. And then there is a journal here. I can read that. Um, nothing to... Uh, Nothing too special there. It does mention that, or question whether or not the slab was there before the upheaval. We know that it wasn't since we played Breath of the Wild. But we're gonna continue along here. If you'd like, you can actually ascend through here and there is a Korok up top for, for you. Just look for the pinwheel, but we're gonna ignore that for now. And we're gonna keep following the pine cones. And then this is where it starts to get a little tricky, but if you look to the right, you'll see a pine cone here. And then you want to uh, use a pine cone. I believe there's a bow back here waiting for you. I, I'm almost positive I, I picked that up, but there should be a bow there. So you want to come over here, light this fire, throw in a pine cone, and then paraglide up, and then fly over. In case you've run out of pine cones for whatever reason, you can actually just... Uh, you can climb the walls in these labyrinths and then sort of like climb up high jump off and then paraglide over. It's a little tricky in some spots, but it is possible. There will be a chest here for you, so be sure to pick that up. And then you wanna go ahead and exit out here. Keep following this path. There's a pine cone here. And this is what I was talking about uh, for climbing the walls. So what we can do, is we can climb up kinda high and then we can just press B to let go, mash X to take out your paraglider and then just glide on over. Okay, pick that one up over here. Pick this one up too. And then we're actually going to snake around this gloom for the next pine cone. Okay, and then again, we have to climb the wall here. This one is a lot easier just because it's such a short wall. You don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, glide on over. And then there will be a chest on top of there for you. Another research log, day three. After shivering in the cold encounter from the gloom, I finally made it. This pathway leads to the center of the ruins. There's a trail of lights here that's almost beckoning me in. It must lead to that due compensation the slab mentioned. My history making discovery is mere steps away. You can do this, me. So just follow this path here, and then eventually we're gonna find a ladder. Pick up this pine cone if you'd like. And then again, you can ascend here if you want, but we're gonna keep following. Okay, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna climb up. This one's a little tricky just because of all the gloom on the wall, but just sort of do the same thing you did before. Snake around, bing, bang, boom, no problem. Come around here. Sorry, I led you astray. Come back around. Okay, there's the pine cone. We're gonna go this way. Yep, snake around here. There'll be another pine cone right here. Thought that was blocked. All right, and then there's a ladder right here. And you can come over here. 
Come up these stairs. And there you go. So you'll have access to the shrine right here. Do keep in mind that there will be a lot of ice in front of it, so you do need to melt that. But after you do that and go inside the shrine, there is a diamond in there for your troubles as well as an orb, and then you can keep on going. Don't forget to touch this ring here, and you will get a message saying that a door has been opened in the labyrinth above, so you want to make sure to do that labyrinth next, and I'll have a separate guide linked in the description for that. I'm hoping that it opens up this chasm, but I really have no idea. But that's it. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.